afternoon, everyone. And on behalf of Tim and Joe, I'd like to welcome you to Notley Abbey. Thank you all for being here today to show your support and to help Tim and Joe celebrate this, their wedding day. I have often said that marriage seems to me to be the epitome of all fine relations. There is a certain element of brotherliness in it as between the married pair. There is a certain fatherly attitude, a certain motherly brooding on the part of the wife over her husband. There is friendship and an element of comradeship and there is always something infinitely more. What is that something infinitely more? It is something present in no other human relation. It is just the feeling that, as between husband and wife, there shall be a total blending of mind with mind and heart with heart. That they shall touch not merely at one point, as friends or companions do, but that they shall touch at all points, that they cannot endure separation. True husband and wife cannot live one on this side of the water and the other on the other side. They are moved to have all things in common, to live under the same roof, to break bread together day by day, to pass through the vicissitudes of life together, to suffer with each other, to rejoice together, to learn life's lessons together, to wish to confer perpetual benefit each on the other. They are not romantic enthusiasts, neither are they without the poetic rapture in each other's relation. The true love of marriage differs from romantic love in this that the romantic lover sees perfection contrary to the facts and attributes a present perfection to the other. The real lover is he who sees a certain excellence, a certain charm. Without the attraction of that, there would be no approach. But beyond that, sees the possibility of greater excellence and perfection, which is not yet, but which shall be developed through mutual help. Occasionally, and if you're very lucky, someone special walks into your life. This person not only touches your heart, but also your soul, and makes your world a richer place in which to live. You may find that you want to spend the rest of your lives together, and Tim and Joe are two of these fortunate people, and that's why we are all here today. When Joe introduced us to Tim, it was clear pretty much from the start that they had a promising future ahead of them. Their journey to a long and happy life together began when they first met in 2017. Then, a couple of years ago, they found a family home to share. And one year ago, today of all days of course, Milo was born. <laughs> now this is a very convenient move if you ask me. <laughs> because it means their son's birthday will be the same day as their anniversary. So Tim now has no excuse for forgetting their anniversary whatsoever. I promise to listen to you respect you and always be there for you. I promise to make you laugh every day. I promise to always make time for dog walks and afternoons in sunny pub gardens. And I promise to put our family first in every decision I make. I promise to listen to you, respect you and always be there for you. I promise to make you laugh every day. I promise to always make time for dog walks and afternoons in sunny pub gardens. And I promise to put our family first in every decision I make. Joe, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Tim, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. And now it's my very great pleasure to announce that from today, Saturday, May the 27th, 2023, you are lawfully joined together in marriage as husband and wife. <laughs> to one another, share your thoughts and feelings, listen to one another and take on board what's being said. Then just be kind to one another, love each other and it's all plain sailing. And it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect, 
but you can be perfect together. My name's Tim, and I'm the groom. <laughs> <laughs> and now one half of Mr. and Mrs. Perry. Yay! To all our family and friends, thank you for making today so incredible and perfect for Germany. We know that many of you have travelled far and wide to be here, and it's so incredibly humbling to be surrounded by all the people we love and cherish, and to share this experience with all of you. Joe and I met uh, when I was away in America via the uh, very fashionable app Bumble. When we first started talking, Joe said that my bio and photos reminded her of a lumberjack. <laughs> She was right. <laughs> uh, oh, how wrong she was. After a series of dates, numerous pub trips, and dog walks with our beloved Hugo, we progressed rather fast. Joe moved into my place in Horse Park a couple of years later, and then we were sadly faced with lockdown. After lockdown, we discussed buying a house together. And I remember saying to Joe, let's take it easy, not rush. <laughs> oh, I think of myself as a chilled out entertainer. You know. <laughs> However, Joe had me hooked. Within eight months, we bought a house, I'd proposed, and Joe's pregnant. <laughs> so, Joe, I'll tell you, won me over. To all the bridesmaids and ushers, thanks for all your help and support today. Sophie, Emma, Hannah, Georgia, Kristen, Lizzie and Beth, you guys honestly rock. Jo is so lucky to have such an amazing support network and you guys have helped her enormously over the last few months. I want to thank you Jo for, for all that you have done for me, honestly. Thank you for your love, your patience, and your unwavering support. Thank you for being my partner, my best friend, and my soulmate. I'm so excited for what the future holds for us, and I'm so grateful to have you by my side as we embark on this journey together. I promise to cherish and love you always, and be there for you through thick and thin. Much have I travelled in the realms of gold and many goodly states and kingdoms seen. I long to learn tales, marvellous tales of ships and stars and isles where good men rest. How others fought to forge my world. What mad pursuit, what struggle to escape, what wild ecstasy. How far the unknown transcends the what we know. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Step forward to feel the blood flow through our veins and tingle where busy thought and blind sensation mingle. Come, my friends, tis not too late. 
But we are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield.